so a lot of people were waiting and anticipating on J Station to do some kind of Etika Ouija board or 3 a.m. challenge, and it just happened, and people are really upset, and that's exactly what we need to talk about in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And something I'm very, very passionate about is mental health awareness. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I'm Jay Station, just came out with this video and it's this Etika Ouija board challenge. So for those of you who don't know on J Station, like congratulations, you're probably over the age of like 10 years old. So good job. So let me just recap who on J Station is for those of you who don't know. Um, he's somebody, he's one of those YouTubers out there who has millions of subscribers and most of them are children. There is a genre, I guess you can call it, on YouTube where you do these kind of like spooky challenges or these 3 a.m. challenges and everything. And I'm Jay Station has done this and you know, it, it does weird, just weird videos. A lot of people made videos about it. But anyways, he started to get a lot of flack or at least when I heard about him after the passing of Mac Miller. Like it was, it might have been the same day or the next day after Mac Miller passed away from an overdose that I'm Jay Station did some kind of like 3 a.m. challenge and people are like, yo, this is extremely disrespectful, dude. But here's the thing, like I'm Jay Station, he's a dude, he knows he's gonna get clicks, he knows he's gonna get people talking about him and all these things. Like if you don't like him, don't watch, right? But anyways, after we found out about Etika yesterday, I saw a lot of people on Twitter just saying like, yo, I'm Jay Station, better not. He better not make a video on this. He better not make a video on this. And boom, he just made a video on this and I just saw Twitter blowing up this morning. And yeah, I was like, okay, let me, let me see. I'm like, did he really do this? So I clicked on the video and yeah, it's, it's clickbait. So the first thing I, I just want to talk about, like, is like, yeah, the dude is disrespectful, but he clickbaited to get a bunch of people to watch. Um, I think a lot of people who are leaving comments, a lot of people who are tweeting, they didn't actually watch the video because he didn't actually do a 3 a.m. challenge. Like in this video, Jay is visibly upset. And something I talked about in my videos yesterday is like, whenever somebody passes away, or especially when, you know, a young person takes their own life, like people are really upset. And this video from Jay, he was, very upset. Bro, you can't tell the difference between my regular video and this. I don't want people to make YouTube videos about me. Okay, if I was, I literally, I thought I was about to die. So the reason I'm making this video is because Jay has millions of subscribers. His video right now has hundreds of thousands of views and he said some very problematic things when it comes to depression and mental health and i feel for him because he's in a bad headspace right now but when you have that much exposure like that many people watching your videos if you're gonna say some things like that like i want to come on here and correct some of those things like i'll be completely honest with you guys right now and this is just my personal opinion i really feel like after watching on Jay Station's video and seeing how Keemstar has reacted to this, I really think it woke those guys up. I think it's woken a lot of people up. And it's it's awful that it takes a tragedy like Etika for it to wake people up. Because in Jay's video, he talks about how he's done doing that stuff. And part of it comes, I guess he had a near death experience recently, um, which kind of like flicked on a light bulb as well. But yeah, like I've had issues with, you know, Keemstar in the past with the way he talks about mental health, you know, and and a lot of it's just from our personal experiences, right? Like a lot of people don't have the experiences that I've been through. Those of you who don't know, I worked in drug and alcohol treatment for, you know, a little over three years. I've been clean and sober for a little over seven years. I just celebrated seven years of sobriety just the other day. But anyways, throughout my time as just a recovering addict and working in treatment, I have seen so much death. Like I have experienced more death than most people experience in a lifetime. So that's why I take this so seriously. So when I see people who like, for example, when J Station did the video about Mac Miller, like I'm a recovering opioid addict, like 
Jay doesn't have that same experience that I, I do. He doesn't understand how disrespectful that is. When Keemstar is out there talking about mental health and people faking it and things like that, like, I'm just like, okay, I don't think Keem has ever like lost somebody or really experienced that. So hopefully, you know, this is a wake up call to these guys. Like Keemstar was actually, he he's currently is actually promoting like a mental health um, organization and everything. But anyways, there's a couple things that I want to talk about because Jay said some really problematic things when it comes to depression. So something that Jay talked about was if if you're not as depressed as Etika, you're not really depressed. And I, I, I want to straighten that up because that is not, not a good thing to say. People made actual videos about Keemstar. Yeah, it's Keemstar's fault because he's hard on mental health. YouTubers just putting, oh, I'm, a, I'm depressed, guys. I'm depressed, I'm breaking down, I got depression. Or I do something bad, it's because I was depressed. He's hard on because you know what? It's true, bro. These YouTubers are doing this, making five different videos about being depressed. Bro, I'm sad too, bro. But I'm not about to say I got depression, dude. Because you know what, man? If you didn't feel like Etika did, you don't got depression, my dude. Because what he is saying is, unless you are suicidal, you're not actually depressed and you're just doing it for attention. And that is, that is like just a terrible thing to tell people because we have to realize like depression is an ongoing thing. Depression is something that's on a spectrum. Most people experience a bout of depression at some point in their life. Not everybody who struggles with depression is suicidal, but I'll tell you this, if you minimize everybody's depression, it could lead to a point where they do get suicidal. So like, I and ugh, ugh, it, it hurts too because Jay has such a young audience, right? And one of the issues that we have in this world today is that a lot of people aren't comfortable talking about mental illness. So when I see Jay saying that about depression, I sit there and I imagine these kids watching it, right? And imagine one of these kids, they get to middle school, they get to high school, when their mental health starts to get messed up, and they remember that this gigantic YouTuber said, unless you are thinking about taking your own life, you are not actually depressed. Like, that is a major issue. Like, I'm here to let you know, like, depression is on a spectrum. Like, you have various disorders. You have major depressive disorder, but then you also have dysthymia, right? Which is, um, like, functional depression, okay? But just know, no matter what type of depression that you're struggling with, like, get help. It doesn't, it doesn't have to get to the place where you are considering taking your own life before you get help. Like, one of my goals is to help people get to a place where they start treating their mental illness sooner rather than later. Like, we, we can't keep waiting for things to get so bad, so, so, so bad, that we finally ask for help. Like, if you are struggling right now, reach out, talk to somebody, friends, family members, parents, doctors, psychiatrists, therapists, school teacher, counselor, whoever it is. Like, if you are struggling right now, talk to somebody. Now, the next thing, and again, I understand Jay was upset, but he started um, talking about how people making videos about Etika is just for attention and everything like that, and he calls out Philip DeFranco. Now, here's the thing. Like, Philip DeFranco is, you know, a massive influencer, and he made a video, a short video on his uh, secondary channel talking about Etika because he had a lot of people requesting it. And when I look at that, I... I, I think of Philip as somebody who's spreading awareness, right? And he linked to some resources. So anybody talking about this is good. I made a video yesterday, like we need more people talking about this, not less. And here's the thing, like, man, just whenever these tragedy happens, there's, there's just so many people who are just at each other's throats. And I wish when these things happened, it brought people together because what I'm thinking about is Boogie2988, he got a bunch, a flack yesterday because of some things he said about Etika the night before. But anyways, then Boogie donated like $500 to a mental health organization. Some people called him out on it and said like, oh, yo, why are you showing the number? Like, why, why do you have to show how much you donated, right? So, so think about that. Boogie got a bunch of crap for showing how much he donated. But then you have Jay saying that you need to donate money, but the only way that you'll know if somebody donated money is if they show how much money they donated, which will get you pushed back anyways. You see what I mean? Like, just, I wish 
tragedies like this brought out the best in people, but sometimes it brings out the worst in people. But the last thing I wanna talk about is the other harmful message that Jay sends out there is, unless you're donating money to the, like mental health organizations or anything like that, like you're, you're not, you don't actually care. I wanna say I'm very sorry. And I wanna make a new thing on YouTube about if you're gonna tweet about this guy dying, if you're gonna pretend like you were his friend, put some money at least to something like his funeral. You gotta support these people. Put some money, donate some money. Unless, or else you're, you're doing it for pure attention. And that that is a big problem because a lot of you, if you're like me, you've been broke for most of your life. And I think it's an issue to say like, the only thing of value is if you have money because that's not true in any way, shape or form. When tragedies like this happen, like we need to understand that we all need to do a better job being there for one another and opening up, talking about mental health. And like, you guys, like you don't need to be a therapist to just lend an ear to somebody. If you have a friend who is in a dark place, you don't need to be a professional to listen to them. Because especially in the United States when so many people don't have health care, they don't have mental health care, they don't have access to these things, we need to start having all of us working together and talking to one another. I'm actually going to link a TED talk down below. And uh, it's from this guy, Vikram Patel. And basically like what he talks about is there's so many places around the world that are in poverty and they don't have resources because poverty is a major cause of depression, right? Like if you, if you can't feed your kids or if you're a kid who can't eat or you know, if you don't have schooling, if your family, you know, family and friends are dying around you because of lack of medical care, it's going to make you depressed. They don't have access to this healthcare. So what Vikram Patel and people did was they started training people in peer support, right? And they saw depression rates drop, okay? So I mentioned that and I want you to take a look at this um, TED talk so you understand how beneficial it is for you to just be there for one another. You know what I mean? Like that's all we can do. Like get into support groups, Facebook support groups and everything like that. Like I, I personally, you know, I'm in a bunch of different support groups on Facebook and when I get time, I hop in there, I look for a post and if somebody's struggling, I try to give them some words of encouragement or some things that I've been through that, you know, I found a way to get out of that maybe I can help them with. And you know what I mean? Like, it's not that hard. It's not, you don't, you don't have to donate thousands of dollars. You don't even have to donate a dollar. Like if you can do your thing, I'm going to link down below if you want to donate to the fund that, um, you know, I think Keemstar might've started, but like, if you want to do that, cool, do it. But just know, like you don't have to donate money like that. It, it is not, it's not good to send out the message that the only way you care about this, or if you care about mental health, then you're going to donate money. Like not everybody has that option. So we need to work on spreading awareness, talking to each other, letting people know that it's okay to talk about what they're dealing with and what they're struggling with. All right. Um, but yeah, anyways, just to bring it back to what I said, like Jay is visibly upset. He clickbaited a bunch of people that I don't think watched his video. Um, yes, I do think he's done some problematic things in the past. I think he said some problematic things in this video, but I'm an optimist and I'm hoping that, you know, this does change Jay for the better. All right. But anyways, um, that's all I got for this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Um, yeah, I, I was going to be done with this, but when this whole thing with Jay blew up, I just felt the need to make a video. So I will have some new videos coming up very soon about some other topics and things like that. So thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.